Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells and today is May 18th, 2016. We are on video number 101 and today we're going to talk about a woman's brand of clothing called Soft Surroundings. Let me just remind you that the items in these videos are suggestions to help you learn what to sell. Please always do your own research to make sure that the profit works for your business. Okay, so this brand is called Soft Surroundings and it's kind of like um, Chico's maybe. It's a lifestyle brand, uh, more casual looking clothing, but really beautiful stuff. So I'm on their website here. And if we go to the clothing section, we can see the types of items they sell and we can look at the prices. So what's hot right now are tunics, the embellished ones with the sequins and beautiful embroidery. Um, one style that you see a lot of is called shark bite and basically what that means is the hemline is um, it's not asymmetrical it's just shorter in the middle than it is on the ends on the sides so it's as if a there was a shark bite there and that's what's left behind is this shape so you may see that in some listings on eBay um, shark bite style uh, tunics but you can see these uh, you know the gorgeous clothing and let's see where's the price here oh 79.95 it's for for a top so let's go back and look at some other ones let's sort by well let's let's see price high to low just to get them in order here so we've got these tunics here that go up to $120 basically and they're just really beautiful clothing with gorgeous details, embroidery, lace, um, pretty colors, soft fabrics and that's what this brand is about is comfort, uh, you know, beauty and comfort at the same time. So you can see here that uh, they really are pretty colors, eye-catching designs, and you know, retail prices are over $100. Uh, they also sell swimwear. And uh, this brand Miracle Suit is sold by a lot of different uh, stores and actually even Costco has a, a deal with them they've got some suits up there I was just there the other day and I sell this brand all the time I'll do another video on on swimwear but uh, you can see that almost two hundred dollars for a bathing suit so if you're not looking at swimwear when you're out thrifting you're in the store anyway you might as well check it out it does sell year-round uh, internationally just because it's not warm where you live doesn't mean people aren't going to wear it. Uh, people go on vacations all the time, cruises, go to the beach. Um, also, you know, the seasons are opposite in some places of the world. So just because it's not swimming weather where you are, it may be somewhere else. And don't forget about indoor pools, all kinds of classes, water aerobics, that type of thing that go on indoors so it doesn't even have to be good swimming weather. So I'll actually just make another video about that. But as we look through these items here, you can see a lot of these suits retail for over a hundred dollars. And when you can pick them up in thrift stores for less than three dollars and sell them for thirty or forty, that's a pretty good flip. And Again, I do focus on things that you can repeat. Um, I posted something on my Facebook group the other day and it was a brand that sells for around $30. And no, that's not huge money. But if you can repeatedly find these brands and you have a huge list to choose from of things that you're always looking for, that's how you're going to build your business. The big sales, the $100 sales, the $200 sales, that's not your bread and butter. These other items that sell for $25 to $40 that you can repeat and you can find consistently, that's how you're going to build your business. So anyway, let's go back to see what Soft Surroundings has. I've also found skirts. Um, and as you can see here, new, they are right at $100. And, uh, you know, pretty designs, interesting patterns 
comfortable flowy fabrics. They also do sleepwear, which I have found some of that. And so these robes and caftans and um, stuff that you could wear as, you know, like this is not, this is sleepwear, but, you know, I could see somebody wearing that at the beach or, you know, just because it's pretty and it's comfortable. So they call it sleepwear, but, you know, you can, you could also wear it other places besides to bed but these are retailing for over a hundred dollars so again the sleepwear there's stuff in there that you can buy for pretty cheap and resell for good prices on eBay so um, another place you can learn about this brand is on Pinterest and you can just go there and put in the brand name and just look at all these the pens and you know it, it's going to redirect you back to the soft surrounding site but you may not see enough on their site to get familiar with the brand so I always research other places just to get a feel for what the brand is about and what it looks like so I can recognize it okay so let's go over to eBay and see how they sell on eBay So we're going to go to soft surroundings and we're going to go to sold listings and I always look at pre-owned condition because that's what you're going to find the most of if you're out thrifting. So we've got 4,182 sold listings which is not a huge number like you would find with other more well-known brands like Chico's or Ralph Lauren. Let's just go back and look at how many are available to purchase that are not sold. Uh, wow, a really low number, 1,907. So you can see that the sold number of sold listings really outweighs the number of, um, of actives, which means that it's going to sell pretty quickly. Um, someone did bring something to my attention when I'm comparing the the sold listings to the actives. Um, if you've got items on 30 days good till canceled and they just roll over, that doesn't count as an unsold. And I realize that when I'm giving you these numbers, it's not scientific. There's no way to come up with uh, exact percentages of you know sell through rates and that type of thing just because there's too many variables and eBay just doesn't give us enough information to make this scientific and it's really impossible to make it scientific so I'm just using the information that is available to us to draw some conclusions um, if you disagree that's fine but in my experience if I look at the number of active listings for a niche brand and then go compare that to the number of sold that does give me some insight into how well it's selling and I do like to choose the niche brands that are not uh, that eBay is not flooded with because again it's supply and demand the less there is of something the more money you're going to get for it and the more demand there is for it so that's why I I'm sharing these niche brands with you so you can do the same thing okay so if we look at the sold listings here the the coats are selling for over hundred and fifty dollars we've got dresses selling for over a hundred sweaters skirts for selling around a hundred um, so you can see that this brand holds its value and like the skirt $71 that's really the hot thing are these peasant skirts so there's a lot out there that you're probably overlooking because you just don't know what the brands are oh this is a beautiful jacket right here um, I don't know if I know that soft surroundings has a few stores in malls I'm not sure exactly how many stores they have but I do know that they started off as a catalog so this may be one of the reasons they sell so well on eBay is just because there are not a whole lot of retail stores like uh, I know here in Atlanta we have Chico's everywhere just about every mall or shopping center or um, shopping plaza has one so their stuff is not hard to find but soft surroundings may be a little bit harder to find because they just don't have that many stores so you can see here 
the prices over fifty dollars for a top or a tunic um, that's the kind of stuff I look for and let's see if we can find an image of what the tag looks like it's one of these labels that doesn't look uh, super fancy <laughs> so that, and this is the peacock theme that we talked about that peacock color in another video I explained that let me see if I can find an image of the tag real quick actually I had a sweater sell a couple of weeks ago see if I can find that real quick and most of the clothes I get to sell I get for about two dollars so you know if I can flip it for 25 to 30 then that works for me this is not it I'm just trying to find an image of the the tag to show you what it looks like there's one so you can see it's not anything super eye-catching I mean it looks like it could be a target brand because it's just this plain gray text and uh, who would think this is worth anything so put this brand and this label in your brain for when you're out thrifting and look for soft surroundings because that is a brand that maybe a lot of sellers don't know about uh, the people in the thrift store marking stuff up and pulling stuff to the side to put in their boutique section might not know about this brand and it's something you can pick and resell for a good price on eBay. So I help, hope that helps you and I hope you're enjoying these videos. Please let me know if you have any questions or suggestions on what else you would like to learn. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.